Listen, CMOS is awesome, but CMOS gel kind of sucks. It's so healthy, but only lasts about two weeks in the fridge. There's a form that has all the nutrients of the gel, but lasts for years. However, because it would come as a powder, companies could easily grind up fake or pool grown CMOS. So we bought a freeze dryer to make it ourselves and find out exactly what it would look like. So we started by making your typical CMOS gel and then pouring it onto our steel trays and spreading it out flat so it freeze dries quicker. Then we threw in some ice cream too because it's been a while since third grade. Oh, then I dropped some on the floor. Here we slide in the CMOS, then the ice cream, close the door and boom, freeze dry. When it's done, we open, grab the trays, throw them on the counter and we crack like styrofoam. It breaks so easily. Use our mortar and pestle to break it up and we throw it in our blender and we blend it up. Boom, we got our powder. Now we can either use this capsule filling machine right here to fill up some capsules or we can put some powder in a blade paint like we're doing right here and then just take this. This is what CMOS powder should look like. This lasts much longer than the gel. You don't have to mix it in with food. There's no weird taste or texture and you can still turn it right back into gel if you want to.